Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. We're recording on Valentine's, which is appropriate for the... The uh, love lost. The And the documentary, Pamela, A Love Story. It's a love story. It's a sad story. They they really played... It was. It has a lot. It has a lot of emotions. I laughed. I cried. I came. Did wow. A lot of nudity. I came a lot. I, I didn't know be Netflix. Honest. I don't know if I've seen nudity on Netflix. If I think about it. Oh really? I remember o- Obama's show had nudity. Michelle Obama's kids show. She, what did? She... There were just tits everywhere. <laughs> just Michelle being like, "These are homegrown." What? Yeah, I was talking about gardening. These are natural grown tits. <laughs> I'm, if you're not watching the video, I'm dressed. We'll get to it in a minute um, as one of the wedding party of Pam and Tommy on one Can- of the random Cancun Beach. But when I was leaving the house, wearing a Hawaiian shirt, board shorts, <laughs> shitty Italian style uh, loafers. How and no dare socks. you? Those are amazing. You own them, so you must wear them. No, they're uh, costume outfits that I have. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I have. Sp- you spent money yeah, on. Yeah, for comedic outfits. <laughs> you don't have comedic outfits? Yeah. You write them off? <laughs> uh, maybe. But I, when I was leaving Baby Barb, my four-year-old's like, you look very handsome, Daddy. And I was Aww. like, oh, you have terrible taste. <laughs> Yay, Barb! She never tells me that. <laughs> this is the outfit that she's drawn to. I look like a complete scumbag. <laughs> you better help her. I'm worried about her. <laughs> Do you guys go to Trader Joe's a lot? Maybe, I, she maybe she's everybody. like the management. No, she's, I don't think she's ever been there. <laughs> I'm worried about her taste now. She, yeah, you should hug her more. That's I, a sin. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's, I should that's not good. Maybe wear sweaters around yeah. the house. I don't know. At least mine isn't real costume. I mean, it's costume, but it's a dice shirt. That's what you would. It's not far off <laughs> no, from what you would cut, wear. I mean, off the shoulder, but but it's all cut off yeah. the shoulder. And uh, she, this is because from Baywatch, I used to do extra work. You told me that I did not know you had, and you worked on Baywatch. What year was this? So I would say ninety four, ninety five. How'd you get it? Uh, probably I had an agent at the time that would send me out on a lot of extra stuff, extra, you know, body double stuff. You know, I'm young, so I'm like, all right, I could do this. And I remember going to uh, Baywatch, and Pam, I'm wearing the infamous bun. I'm, I'm don't look as good as she does with it, but you said that I don't I don't really know her as bond someone her that thing. that's her thing. If you go on TikTok, I believe it's right now because this documentary was so hot. Yeah, that a lot of buzz. You could get the Pam look. Really? So it gives you the messy bun and then the her eyebrows. She does them so thin. What about the big titties? Pam, you are gorgeous. Stop doing that to your eyebrows. They're Thank awful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they're you're talking aw- to Pam. Oh. <laughs> They're, they're too thin. She is absolutely beautiful with no makeup, by the way. That's how she chose I, to do the documentary. Yes. It's, I, that was kind of, uh, I liked it. It was like symbolic of almost like I'm letting my guard down to let right. you see kind but of the real me or like who I who I think I really am. But as opposed even to like doing the extra work, right? Like, by the way, I got bumped up. I was the manager of the little hut, right? Okay. So you could, like if I watched the whole series, I would see you? Yeah, now I have to remember. I don't think I've ever seen one episode of Baywatch. Have you? No. Is that bad? How do you? I was wondering, because when I was watching this with Courtney, I had to watch this twice. I watched it once without taking notes, and I had to rewatch it. (laughs) I did rewatch it last night. But um, I asked, how did the actors on Baywatch not get burnt to shit? Sunburn. Good, Good question, Jeffrey, because I'm an idiot, early 20s idiot at this point, and I am like, Oh, I'm at the beach all day. <laughs> and I had a bathing suit on. I think I had a tie. It was like a uniformy kind of thing. Yeah. And I had a pin because I was the manager. And, what was your um, character name? Do you remember? No. Did you I have speaking? I think it just said manager. I got to be honest. No. Line. No speaking. I never got a speaking part on this. And I was pissed because I loved it. But Because you were just in the sun all day. And I'm like, oh, this is great. You didn't no have a, no top of the hut? <laughs> What? No, like the hut wasn't covered with a roof. It was okay. So yeah, you, yeah, so you're little, in, yeah, I mean, yeah. But but you, when you were off the out of there, you were in the sun. You're an asshole. Yes. Okay. So, but I had to come out and serve stuff like Got that it. was outdoors. So you were just kind of like strictly for the bat for the ambiance. I was managing. That, Jeffrey. Yeah. This was a very serious role. It and sounds I took it. it very serious. How'd you get into character? Did <laughs> you go work management at a, at a restaurant? <laughs> 
I just remember like, and it was all the way in Malibu and it was, ah, oh, fuck, we had to be there at like five, four in the morning. And then, you know, you just start the day and you're dead, right? And I'm waiting tables at the store, by the way. So I'm up yeah. all night. In the same outfit, same Pretty bathing much. suit. Just throw the bathing suit on, <laughs> go right there and run around, no sunblock. And you would think that I'd learned my lesson from years of lifeguarding, no. My brain hasn't so fully you, were developed. You getting, were you getting burnt regularly? I got some poison. Jesus. <laughs> bad. Poison. Really bad. How, what happened? Did it, you get pass out? It was, my skin was just, just like bubbling, we were, bubbling. Oh, and I was like, fuck. Jesus. And then, of course. Did you have something removed? You had something removed, A million you? times. May have I'm been from three. that. May have been from that <laughs> shit. May have been from Baywatch. Thanks. You may want to get a right class here. action I lawsuit. I got a, a scar here. I had one in my eye. You and the I other uh, background people get a class action. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they're not going to blame it on the seven years of lifeguarding how at a city pool in South Philly. They have, won't blame it. You don't that. have to volunteer that. Okay, you're right. Did ha, How did Hasselhoff? Using baby oil? How did like, the stars? Did the stars just like, they, they get in they and get were, out? So everybody was so nice. and But this was the thing I remember the most. Everybody else went to their trailers or went to eat at a certain area. Mm -hmm. The extras, you know. If you've done like, extra work, like, you know they throw you go on the eat, side. Go they're eat like, on the sand. Like, Wait a minute, my sandwich has sand in it. They're like, yeah. just eat it. It's like, fine. It's too bad. Like, eat my, it. A seagull has my lunch. And better they get had, it back. They were big at the time. It was like on for a while. Yeah. Because I think this was 94, 95. It was, uh, it was like obviously a show that people thought was stupid, but a lot of people watched it for the TNA. For this what I pre always say, if it's hot, if got hot girls in it and they rub one out to it, they but this is pre. This no is pre-internet porno too. You had to get Does, like yeah, so real porno like, tapes. This is easy. You cable. Know. This is like when cable, like they would do the up all night with like Gilbert Godfrey on USA. Oh. And he would do like kind of like bikini style movies that were terrible. <laughs> that it was this era in the nineties. I don't think I've ever seen that, but I remember. It was like um, that. That this style yeah. of show was big at that time. So she, and she was like a huge emerging star on, from this show. Hasselhoff was a big deal from Knight Rider. Hasselhoff, I never spoke to him. Really? Why? Ever. Do you regret it? <laughs> no, I mean like in the scene, like they would be blocking or whatever. Yeah, Mitch. and he would always be sweet. He was, but Mitch. he wasn't me. He just kind of went away from the extras. But twice she sat with us at our table eating lunch asking questions just to like just be, to talk she's to just people. a regular person just so regular and i just remember her shoulder being out a big sweater and her uggs her what uggs. was she asking you uh just talking to, what are you guys from what are you doing you know like just normal nice sweet conversation she's like yeah i didn't like the lunch today like i remember her like complaining about some Not tells, complaining. Someone tells but, me she didn't eat a ton back then. Well, whatever she had, she had the same as we did. But she, was but she young. ate it all. Yeah, I don't. I, I yeah, could see I don't her know. moving it around a bit. I mean, she was scanning. <laughs> she was tiny. She was tiny. Why do we always think that if people are thin, they have eating? Disorder? In Hollywood, it's pretty. I mean, now they're all taking this diabetic drug. Oh yeah, they're running short on that because the people with diabetes can't get it because these women are like. Try shrinking down to nothing. My brother-in-law supposed to take it, and he said it makes him so violently ill he can't take it. But if how good's he looking? Yeah. How good are those abs? <laughs> he can't take it. He doesn't. Take well, it. he should be selling it. To send it to you. <laughs> saying, he, send it up. Sell it on the street. I know a lot of people send it my way. I live with someone who wants a. No, <laughs> my daughter. Stop it. No, I'm kidding. Oh yeah, that's well, a joke. We got to get her on something. She obviously has. That was a joke. Not great taste. Yeah, in men. <laughs> She's got a bad picker. Or fathers. <laughs> but Pam is... Uh, Pam, they said, had a bad always, picker. She did, poor thing, huh? She's been married five times. As of she's now, she claims, she claims she's retired. I don't buy it. You think she's going to get back in there? How could she not? But don't this you is love what she does. Not real. I mean, it's fine for her. It's not good for me. I wouldn't do it. Like you wouldn't marry her if you met no, her? No, I'm saying I wouldn't marry five different people. Yeah, no offense to Courtney, but I'm saying like if you met If Pam, I met Pam right now and she's yeah. like, let's get married and I'm single. <laughs> and you're wearing this outfit? I mean, sure, it would help my career. Couldn't hurt me. <laughs> I think Courtney would be for it. Yeah, she'd be like, if it helps our family, yeah, go do it. I have a pass. If it helps the family, with, I'd send money home. She's good with kids, which is amazing. Uh, I got some points to make on that. All right, make uh, your points. It's debatable. I mean... <laughs> The uh, the documentary it's the like 
the heart of it is her living. She's back with her parents mm -hmm. on this island off of Vancouver. Okay. Um, she said she was there for COVID, I think, and then just stayed. Yeah. Is that what happened? That's what she said. I love the idea that she would get, like, have... Um, by the way, we have a lot in common with our legal pads. Yes. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with legal pads. She had 8 billion legal pads from like throughout her life. <laughs> Pam, you and I could keep them in business. So now I know why there's so many. Um, Yours are illegal pads. hi <laughs> <laughs> I did steal these. So <laughs> I just thought what be, was written in there was be. Oh, definitely. detailing crimes. But now I, so I was going to say, oh, I forgot what we were talking about. Just saying that she was, she's yeah, back, with her, she's back with her parents. Oh, well, she would send stuff to that house. And said, I'll, eventually I'll that's come a, back that's here. That's a good idea. Like if I did that to my mom's house, they'd be like, oh, I don't know where it is. Well, what if your parents Thread move? It. Then they're fucked. <laughs> or you're fucked. Right. Well, my mom's in the same role. She's like, all of it. She's like, I'd eventually, I knew I'd come back. She's like, I just didn't think it'd be this soon. Right. Is what she said. Because her right. life has kind of ended up in shambles a few different times. But the, you don't think the kids, you don't think she has a a good relation? Like, you I'll, don't I'll think talk about okay, what let's I get going into on. it. Let's. It, uh, it opens up, like the credits show her, she, she decides to go no makeup pretty much on that show. Unbelievable, by the way, Pam. Excellent. Uh, she, and she's we watching. Just gotta fix the eyebrows. They show, she has just tons and tons and tons of videotapes. Yes. Um, which I don't get. I don't get people who want to videotape everything. Dice you? does it. Yeah. I, I just, to me, it seems like it comes with a, a healthy ego. No, my sister does it. Um, just people yeah, who, Karen wanna, has who great just want to chronicle Karen everything? Has, yeah, with the kids. Karen has tons of video of it's like the kids. It, it, Kind of takes away from like living that moment though. I'm no? with you. I'm with you. Like instead of living the moment, you're thinking of like what looks good. You know, like it's a or different. Or like hurry up, let's. It's a know. difference between like going to a concert and like having a good time and going to a concert and like holding your phone up. You know what I mean? Like you're. Right. It's but, through another thing, if that makes sense. But I'm not a. I mean, you're a parent. So I you, am. Do you record the kids on your phone? Yeah, but not See? not a ton though. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't have. I wouldn't have like stacks and stacks of videos. Right. But it was the 80s. Yeah. So that's what they did, 90s. So she was big. It, well, it came back to, to bite her. Well, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, tons of videos. She's watching videos of Tommy Lee. A little wistfully. I, She's, you can tell like, there's a little she, glimmer in her eye looking at old Tommy. Old Tommy boy. Woo, 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 woo. I did not like when she, they were like shooting. She's like, oh, what's in here? Like, you know what's in here? Yeah. <laughs> that makes me laugh, though. Well, they had, oh, she also had a ton of diaries throughout her life yes. and a ton of, as you said, yellow legal pads. God so bless she's, her. she's big into like documenting everything. And as I said last time, it's a, gr it's a great subject for a documentary because she has so much, you know, much shit they had to sift through through those diaries. Oh my God. It, well, and the videos. <laughs> How many do you think they uncovered any other, it, any other fuck videos? The same with Dice. It's like, I wrote all this. I have all these videos, and the guys were just They're like, "Oh boy, we, we, need to, we need to hire some researchers. <laughs> we need to hire some interns." I don't even think they got through a third of it. Yeah, how could you? How great and was probably it? Probably Pam too, because how great was it when Tommy Lee was dressed in full night regalia on a horse, proposing to remarry her? He looked like such an idiot. With a no. scroll? No, he didn't. He's like, Pam. You think he looked like an idiot. <laughs> yes, he, he did. He did not look like an idiot. I almost came in the full night it's outfit. It's weird because you could still see his schlong right through the night in armor. Oh, like, yeah. I was like, is that a sword or it was, is that? He got oh, hard oh, and it, it broke through right. the, the iron pants. <laughs> Pam said uh, at the beginning, I'm looking for a feeling I can't find. She seems kind of lost. Kind of. It seems but, like a theme for her. But it's again, it stems back. Like she said, something like we all have bad childhoods, and I'm like, well, hold on a second. Hers is a little different. <laughs> Some are a little more elevated than others. Like yeah. we all have weird shit. Yeah, because everyone has issues related to childhood, but hers just seem a little, little more. I do. Yeah, I don't think there's a parent out there that's perfect, right? Other than me, but a person. Yeah. You, I mean, yeah. Me I mean, and if Tommy you're. Lee already getting your daughter to think you look hot in this <laughs> you're doing great that's just her taste but it could be changed <laughs> what can i do there's a uh scientist i think he's a sci i don't know what he is he's a professor of sorts i can't remember his name so i'm terrible at quoting this but he said that kids are born with like 400 personality like things in them in them that they're like it's already in their dna and there's nothing you can do about it as yeah, a parent guess, like you can all you can do is guide them yeah be the shepherd 
to guide them to the why proper. I, I parent with a shepherding uh, stick. <laughs> a stick. Yeah. Tommy had a staff too. Is that Tommy Lee or <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Lee? <laughs> After these clips, they uh, they that, that was kind of like the the opening. Right. They go to her mowing her own lawn, which I was impressed with. Wearing stiletto rubber boots, like wading boots Wait with a, a stiletto heel. You and didn't notice? She, those they, were they heels. Were stilettos? Those no. were heeled. Those were heeled boots. Yes. She was wearing rubber, like wading boots that had a heel on. I don't know where the fuck you get that. I never. Probably, I gotta go back because I didn't I'm notice serious. it. It's real. I didn't notice it because she's always in Uggs. She was always in. Fle- she's I wearing saw the rubber, boots and I thought those were adorable. rubber heeled, not but like uh, unattached to the. Like a wedge? A stiletto? Yeah, it no, like a, a stiletto. Or a stiletto? It was a stiletto. Not a stiletto. It's sharp, but like that style, you know, like that arch. Oh, yeah, I just didn't notice that. You should get a pair of those right, if you I'm go gonna fishing. I'm going to get them for sure. She, she says she's at home, which we said that she said it's triggering and nutty, but she's back there. Well. <laughs> she says she always comes home when she has trouble going on, and then when it's time to leave, she figures it all out. She goes back to the field, looks at the right, stars. Right, you go home to get, re- I do that a lot. I go home to get readjusted. You look I at the stars in Philly? I do. I look at the stars through the sitting on the step of a row home, so it's like <laughs> narrowed down to the Same area. exact view as hers, living <laughs> on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Her mom was a waitress. Did you uh did I you cla- did. did you clap when you saw that? I did. I also uh appreciate their love, the mom and dad, the uh <laughs> the fighting and fucking. That's the, that's all me. The dad was a poker player and a con man. Oh. Which is uh something he didn't really have a job. He's the notorious bad boy of Ladysmith was where they were from. Ladysmith is a great name for Class, the city. Classy fun fact, he liked to race cars and he put the mom through a windshield when she was pregnant with Pam. Uh, okay. And this Pam's like, that's my... why I joke that uh, I'm so nutty. This like, that's not really that funny. <laughs> it's not It's not funny, but here's the thing. Do you, do you know who um, Carrie Fisher is? Yes. Carrie Fisher. Uh, fucking hilarious by the way she has a one woman show obviously she passed away but she had a one woman show that princess um, leia is that, is that yeah, yeah okay. but she had a one woman show that i saw live that was unbelievable and then it was on hbo and it was so funny and she was talk- she goes this is my mom her mom's debbie reynolds uh, the it was a famous actress and she goes this is my mom and she shows her in the tightest corset you could think of like because back then they would cinch your waist yeah. down to like 18 inches and so she can push your organs around right and so she's in there and she's got a giant dress on and she's spinning around and flipping over couches she goes that's my mom and she's six months pregnant with me <laughs> Jeez! oh my god and i was like holy shit this is what happens. Would you rather have that or being thrown through the windshield of a car? I don't know, but people think that it doesn't matter trauma when you're in there, and it does. It does matter. It definitely did affect her. I she think. had some glass in her head, I think. From uh, <laughs> Pam did. Pam had it in her foot. I think the she dad was con- on it concerned, or like <laughs> you fucked up my street race. Get back in the car. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. The dad was like, I'm going to lose because you can't sit still. Like, <laughs> what did I tell you, bitch? Hold on to the, 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 the what do you call that thing up top? Yeah. <laughs> Told you to hold on. The, what's that called? The suicide bar? No. Uh, called, something. something. <laughs> Probably. Uh, parents got married super young. They were like late teens. Dad right. was a big drinker. She said there was physical verbal abuse. Dad uh, whipped a vacuum out of the window onto the beach. Hey, man. It was a hockey game. Yeah, her mom was cleaning during do the hockey not. game. Don't fuck with it. I'm with the dad on this one well i don't really you like hockey i don't really like hockey any sport event you say no vacuuming no vacuuming you don't come in we're watching so even if you're watching dukes of hazard you don't come in <laughs> does, that in, does that include pro wrestling i don't know but that triggered me <laughs> you were like i would throw in the vacuum too and i'm a woman <laughs> uh the, as you brought up they she said her parents were always like fighting and passionately making out slamming the door to go Crazy. fuck while the kids are uh i think she only has one brother but she yeah. didn't really mention it she mentioned younger brother, I believe. She mentioned him, but he wasn't involved in the yeah. So the they would go pound uh, in a small place, and she's like, "Well, it's better than them fighting." <laughs> and I was like, "Not much." <laughs> then uh, we go into dark, dark territory. Darky dark. She uh, was mol- Pam was molested by a female babysitter for three to Sickening. four years. That's very rare. A female on female. Is it? I think no. no I think Am I wrong both, on that? No, I think well, maybe women don't do it as much or something but i've heard of it okay it's it's sick 
Sick yeah, not sick. Sick is sick. Not it comes good. In all kinds of packages. Pam said she uh, tried to kill the lady with a candy cane pen to the I heart. I loved it. I remember yeah. candy cane pens in the eighties. You remember those? Kind of. It didn't write yes. well. Yes. Yeah. They always would run out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I can see it. Uh, then she said, I think after that, she said, she said, told the lady, "I wished you would die." Which I loved. And Guess I feel what? terrible. The lady died the next day in a car crash. But why didn't she tell her mom? She said her mom they had such problems in her marriage and was always crying and she didn't want to add to it. Yeah, but I thought that was for the other thing. Later. I think it was just in general. She ah, was just like, that sucks. The classic, I don't want to bother you. Because but. it's like, mom, stop going out. This lady's like yeah. diddling me, if you will. Well, they were like, oh, she's a great babysitter. She always brings presents and stuff. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They so not, liked her. Not she, great. And that's a, it's a long babysitter tenure, three or four years. That's a telltale sign. Yeah. And it's you're like, bringing gifts and shit. And you're bringing, I buy anything. Gifts are like, shut up gifts. Yes. Not good. Bribery. Pam, Pam thought she killed this lady via magic, which I thought they should have explored more. Did she still have the magic, the ability to kill people? <laughs> I think she would have willed it on a few people. I got to be honest. We got to look around. Like, who, has anyone died around her? She would have, she Some of those ex husbands. I'm glad that lady died, and I hope it was. Oh, I I hope she suffered a lot in the car crash. Yeah, maybe your dad hit her with the car. Oh, wouldn't that be? <laughs> or he's like, "Hey, yeah. take a ride with me. Put her through the windshield." And she's like, "I think take I did it via magic." And his dad's like, "No, I just heard <laughs> what's going on." Nope, she just went out for a ride with daddy. Did you notice Pam is uh, kind of a kooky laugh? She laughs yeah. a lot, like after she's, things. She but it's it nervous, and she's very bubbly personality. You can see why she would do well in an audition. It's an Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. She has great, so likable. Charisma. Charisma, but also, like, she just is sweet-ish, innocent -ish. Super hot, but does have that sweet kind, like, that obviously put forward a, a sexy image, right. but, like, has that kind of quiet, but it's weird, sweet side to her. How do you have both? How do you have this, like, look at this picture, like, insanely sexy, right? But then look at the one below where and she's, then like, completely no makeup. Like, you're just like I'm the mom next I guess door. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, they ask. They ask uh, the producers, and I think her son is talking to her off camera a little bit too. He, he was one of the producers. Yeah. Brandon Lee. By the way, why would they steal Bruce Lee's son's name? Aww. Who was the Who was the crow? There was already a super famous Brandon Lee. You can't, R.I.P. You, yeah, R.I.P. Is right. All right. Thank you, Rob. You can't. You can't steal Brandon Lee the crow. I get it. It's only one yeah. crow. That's true. This guy's an imposter. Well, there's I mean, a bunch of crows, but there's only one Brandon Lee. A lot of Lee. crows. Yeah, you're yeah. right on that. He got killed on the film set. Pre out, and well, Alec Baldwin, we don't know where he was that day. He could have been involved. Baldwin, you think? Well, he was shot. Stop he was it. shot with a. <laughs> Leave my Alec uh, hey, alone. Just, That's my boyfriend. All right, well, I'm just. <laughs> just pointing, my other pseudo boyfriend. Just pointing something out. But the producers say, do you want to read your diaries on film? And Pam's like, no, because then I'll, I'll like. I, I think I'll censor my. I'll say, nah, I'd rather not. Or like, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Which is smart. And she's like, I don't want to have to go through those emotions again, too, while Who the doing fuck it. fuck would? So then they hired some weirdo voice actress. <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't they have matched her voice a little more closely? It <laughs> sounded like an NPR woman. She was like, Today I was on a film <laughs> shoot out by Baywatch. It was like this weird, weird, like relaxing yeah. tone of like. All the way out in Malibu. Wow, it was so fun. I met David Hasselhoff. He's a real <laughs> Hasselhoff. Oh. But then I also don't get, she signed everyone. Why sign your own diary? You know it's you. It's like XO Pam. That is. <laughs> I. Kate's like, wait a second. I didn't write that one. I didn't sign it. Like when she kept saying, maybe some of them were maybe. like, love Pamela. But maybe like, her PTSD made her be like, let me put my fucking you name on it. You know your hand. Someone's going to mimic your handwriting. Hey, mimic the voice you, you write You think anybody in. can mimic this? Oh, no. no uh, you've seen mine. This is tight. <laughs> yours but, is tight. No, but I'm saying you've seen my writing's terrible. Yeah. Love, Jeff. <laughs> With a little X. I thought they could have like, They could have had some fun of like who they had read the diary. Tommy Lee could have been him. Could have been like somebody like. Uh, so then, bam! <laughs> like if Gil I, again, I just mentioned it before, but Gilbert Godfrey were still alive, would have been great. Yeah. Today I was out <laughs> screaming. Bobcat. If Louis Anderson was alive, would have been nice. Louis Anderson is a better match, or Gary Shandling. Mitzi, if she were Mitzi. alive. Oh, 
I had to go all the way out to Malibu. Anyway, so I was in Malibu. XOXO Pam. <laughs> Pam. <laughs> Why is she hang signing? Out with Polly. Why is she Pam. signing this? <laughs> <laughs> or Dice Man. <laughs> yes. Today. <laughs> I saw Tommy Lee. Pam's like me. She's what a, a hopeless, hug. Oh, Pam's a hopeless romantic. I love love. <laughs> <laughs> love dice. He is a hopeless romantic. That's why they would be great together. I'm not trying you to should, get him You should hook up. him up. No, no. Why he's not? With Carrie. No, he's you got hooked his, him up with his, other, his current. He's got his sugar plum and they're good. Uh, she moved off the island uh, after high school. <laughs> she got voted off the island. Yeah, her mom said don't <laughs> do it. She did it. And she lived with but some guy, the, the, the pattern of her bad boyfriend. She was with a guy who was cheating on her. Mm -hmm. And then she said in this, uh, when you see your boyfriend watching, watching his, his penis, penis in the sink, my favorite it's a pretty good sign he's having an affair. What if he says a dirty dick? Yeah, what if he's and like- why would he do it in front of her? That's just cocky cheating. That's cocky and just such a dick. Dick move, she double should've... dick. He double dick down that yeah, guy. Well, he was double dick and double dick. At least could have been triple dick. He didn't even use a sock to like. We I'm don't wondering. know. <laughs> she didn't say the drying. We just know the washing. Why wasn't she smelling it as soon as he came in? Like that classic uh, song, "Let me smell yo dick." Let me smell yo dick. Yeah, but classic that, sign. That's a good la young ladies out there. I'll tell baby Barb the, that lesson. She's yeah, but she's aware. She's looking at that and she's like, okay. He's watching his dick. Why is he watching his dick? Like, she has the questions. But she was young. She didn't know about dick washing yet. But still, follow up, especially when you're young. Be like, what the fuck are you doing? He also could have showered wherever he was. I don't think he was fucking at home, was he? Maybe he was fucking at a parking lot or something. Today, I saw it was Vancouver. my boyfriend <laughs> washing his penis in the sink. That sounds like Pete Carboni. <laughs> That's how the lady sounded. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know how she got discovered. They said it was the late 80s. She had some friends uh, who worked for Labatt, the beer company, Canadian Oh, beer. yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to a Canadian football game. Yeah, you didn't know that's how she I had no, I had no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's I wearing a Labatt t-shirt. It was uh, cut off, mm -hmm. dice style, showing some midriff. Well, it's the 80s, show the underboob that's in fashion again, Pam. They're stealing your style. Uh, cameraman, which they still do today, zoomed in on her. They said, here's <laughs> a hot course. chick. And she's like, Nye. Yeah, and she she kind of like I think due to her childhood was like thought she was unattractive because she was right. like I don't get why they were well, like in fact you just with become me. like an introvert like yeah like I'm a shell of enough. yourself yeah so then they they were like the crowd I think went crazy they asked her to do a drawing at the fifty yard line of course who wouldn't she was so cute did you see those pictures yeah she was uh, she's the absolutely adorable the innocence and. Labatt instantly reached out to her to do a commercial and a poster, and then Playboy called her like not long after that classic. Look how cute. Oh, my God. By the way. To be honest, I think she kind of ruined herself with the titty, the fake tits. Yeah, because they were beautiful. She had beautiful, natural boobies, which you can see in this documentary, yeah. and she blew it. with Those <laughs> those, cart those made her cartoonish, those big, fake, yeah. and everyone has them, so why not be stand out? And not have. Yeah, it was, have that it was, perfect, I natural. thought it was a travesty, to but be honest. That surgeon should feel bad for him. Kind for of, did. but it goes back to her not feeling worthy, her not feeling good enough. Well, she and said she was at the Playboy Mansion, excellent. and she said all these girls are so hot, and then yeah. someone's like, oh, we all have fake tits. And she's like, what? where do I get them? I was like, oh, you blew it. <laughs> you blew it, Look Pam. at her with the dark hair, even the, like, scroll up a little, I'm sorry, down a little. She's got, like, the, a little further down. Right there, see what oh, that that's like her as yeah. a kid, yeah. Wow, and then the even that terrible haircut there, but she, she, she ruined like, Look it. how great she ruined it, and she's she tiny. looks like she made herself look like a porn star, like the, the old school porn stars, not really, the, yeah, the current. I guess so. Yeah. Not she looks like Linda Hamilton here, a little bit, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Lady from Terminator, is that who we're talking Linda about? Linda had muscles, man. all right, Hamilton, all right, Hamilton. <laughs> Way to uh, go, Hamilton. She had to smuggle herself onto a into the U.S. on a Greyhound bus. So funny. Had so some, many uh, work Canadians visa issues. Had to I didn't do that. realize that. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I love what she tried to do there with the passport. She's like, oh, let me just go change my clothes. They won't notice He's me. He's like a super hot lady. You're like, yeah. oh, who's this? And I don't you know, know the lady behind the she desk. She put a hat like, on. Like this a little she hot did a Clark, came back. <laughs> she did a Clark Kent of putting a hat on. Like, who, the, who are you? Yeah, the lady's like, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, not yeah, working. Yeah. She went to <laughs> oh, Playboy. Shit, look how big her boobs look right there. It's, yes, oh, too, hey. too big, too big. 
Yeah, they uh, cool. went to Playboy, instantly made her like a, a bottle blonde, which I'm not a big fan of that look. But if, if you are out there, she I'm not judging it, you. Though. She rocks it. I got to be honest. I mean, she her does, hair is dark, but she, she does her own hair. It. Own hair now. Dye. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> that her mom taught her. But see right there, look how bright blonde it is. That's pretty. And everybody was trying to get that look. Uh, yeah, I had that look at that, at that point. That's that's that costs a lot of money. I had a friend growing up. I think we were in middle school when Baywatch was big, and this guy was obsessed with Pamela Anderson. <laughs> and we would go to like Spencer's Gifts, and he would just be looking through the posters. And this is pre, like I said, internet porn. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. just like, oh my god. <laughs> we're like, dude, let's go. Like, we're gonna go gang. He's like, oh, look at we're gonna go to the food. We're gonna go to the food court. He's like, look at this poster. <laughs> That's so you. <laughs> we, we, come on, we're going to the food court. There's food up there. Yeah, like what the fuck? And this guy just <laughs> every because there was like a million posters of her. He's like, oh, look at the cut of this. Oh, shit, he's like, just knocking things <laughs> yeah. over with his cock. Yeah, we're like, we're go, if you want to go jerk <laughs> off his bathrooms, he would watch. He would watch Baywatch because he was like obsessed with her. Yeah. I think he fell off when barbed wire didn't do as well as it, sh- it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, the movie. The bar- such a great. They jump around a little bit because they, they go. They do. They go back. I'm just such looking at great- this. <laughs> What's that? Were you about to say barbed wire? It was such a great such movie. Such a great movie. Such a great, such a great such film. Such a great really. film. What a great piece of cinema. A great film. Due to that will. movie, she got that horrible barbed wire tat on her arm. Well, uh, that, that's what I was going to say. Why she, would you do she that? Also, she God. got it because she felt bad for the makeup artist having to do it. What? Do you, well, I, that's what she said. Jesus. That's so sweet and sad all in the same sentence. That's very, that's very low self-worth. That's what I'm saying. How does this woman have the lowest self worth I don't get it. What's the childhood? I know. What if she was in a movie fuck? where she had a face tat? She would have been wanna... like, you know what, guys, I'll just do it. Look what at that. Could. Look at that. Oh yeah, I don't feel self worthy. Jesus. Like and it's a sin it's a sin because we look at it like, oh my God, she has everything. And meanwhile, she's no, miserable. She, yeah, she grass is greener. She'd rather be somebody else. Yeah. She they, they jump back when she's doing the Playboy shoot to her journal entry. When I was 12 or 13, uh she went to there a There is a slash. She went to a condo 13. with her friend who had a crush on some guy who must have been older. Was she older. She was playing backgammon with a 25-year-old dude and then the guy raped her. Fucking idiot. That oh, was the you one. You look like you need a massage. A 12 year old, you piece of shit. Yeah, I hope that guy is dead as well. Can we write a movie for Pam? About her killing these people? Yes. The but magic? Also teaching women, like, because it's what I want to do is teach women, girls at an early age. Like, they're worried about girls learning, oh, that's a drag queen. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about drag queens. Drag queens aren't going to hurt nobody. You, we want to teach them how to fight. And how to fight off men and how to look. If a guy says to you when you're 12, do you need a massage? Say, go fuck yourself and cut his cock off. Jesus. Okay, maybe not that far. Yeah, I don't know you if know your self-defense school is going to want to teach that on the first day. <laughs> she comes in with her barbed wire. To- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 25. That's horrific. That's fucking gross. You sicken me. And you know that you can take. I'm sorry. And she—that right, was the one where she down. specifically mentioned the guy didn't tell anyone. I don't think Nobody. she even told her friend. So that guy's still running around, probably raped a million kids. Probably not. Good. And he's just, you know, and he's gonna live forever because these fuckers live forever. These child molesters. I wonder if he's ever rapist gotten peeps. ahead of himself. Out, sorry, and he's like the anger. I'll calm down. Like he sees Pam Anderson on TV and do his. Fr- he's like, oh, I, oh, uh, yeah, I don't. Like, how do you know her? Oh. Uh, and her friend, I mean, her friend, friend probably put, got raped too. When, yeah, they both and doesn't were in, even know. Like she was just like, "Oh, this guy's nice to me." Both were in bad positions. Ugh, I know. But she I said the the Playboy me. shoot. She said like, in a way, I like freed Playboy freed shoot. her from <laughs> like this past almost. Right. It was like a rebirth of her first self. When she said, um, "When I felt like I was in the water and I felt like the chill on my arm." And then I was like, I'm free. And her she's like, in the she ca- went like this, I'm free. And her tits are out. She's like, the camera she clicked. Goes, and then it- I couldn't take the, I couldn't keep her clothes on. She <laughs> says she was like playing a character, which God I guess I can her. kind of see. But it, yeah, because yeah, you have to walk If around. I had the body, she, I show her, I show everybody. I show it now. And I don't have that. She made body. a joke to the cameraman of the dock. Like, you want to see my boobs? And she's like, <laughs> and she goes, you wouldn't want to see them. They're rough. I'm like, how are they rough? They're fake. Rough. What are they rough? No, they're Sun not damaged? rough. They're fine. Yeah, come on. But that's again still in her. What's she in her fifties? 
Yeah. Uh, phenomenal, by the way. I think it was 55, something like that. She said but, 50s, and she's like, I can't even believe I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you, you people think, oh, you just stop aging at a certain point. You still age, like, but yeah. she looks great. Yeah, she's an attractive person. Matt, they, this goes into like a whole series of scumbag talk show hosts right, right. just talking to oh her about her tits God. over and over again. I mean, I was waiting literally for Leno to be like, hey, so how are your tits? Oh, like in Leno the was, microphone. He was sickening. Leno's from my hometown. Whatever. Went to Rich my high school. Kid. Mm-mm. Uh, but it's crazy how like he had that squeaky clean like he's like I, I do uh, clean comedy but he's such a like closeted pervert on that 100%. show he's like ah, look at this uh, uh, some <laughs> and you're just like Dude, that it- sounds <laughs> like somebody else a little bit Matt Lauer who eventually uh, got in a little bit of trouble later yeah but he's t- he he wants to talk about the titties and he's- but she's right. What like this? Okay, so they saw. Okay, we know what happens eventually, right? So when Tommy Lee's on a talk show, they go, "Hey, let me see your dick." They usually. How big I was. Is it? I was. I. I had the same exact thought. Whereas, like, you could not get away with that today at mm-hmm. all. Not today, but you also don't. It but doesn't happen to men. Kimmel did it ask. It only happens to women. I don't know the actor's name, but the guy who played Cam Cameron on White Lotus. You know how they show that oh, big old hog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kimmel's like, is that? Is that is that your penis? And the guy's like, what are you crazy? <laughs> it was like 12 inches long. No. Well, okay, but that's a, a, a cosmetic. Yes. And that's a movie. Yes. You know, and then. Well, that was a show, but. I mean, I'm sorry, a TV show. Yeah, yeah. White Lotus. But usually, I though. I haven't watched it. I got to get into usually, it. Usually, though, they don't ask guys about their dicks or like. Right. For I the mean, most part. Like Mark Stern Wahlberg, made, when he did the. What was it? Boogie Nights. Oh, so good. But they were like, that's. I mean, it's clearly a prosthetic. Of course, but but with Pam, every, everyone it. was obsessed with talking to her about her titties. That's all they talked about. Larry King. Larry King's like, uh, you ever had work done? <laughs> and she, she goes, listen, suspenders. You don't it, go around it she like goes, that. She goes, yeah, um, these aren't my natural breasts. And then he's like, have you really? And she, and she, and she said yes. And he goes, have you had them or not? And it's like she, she's like, yes. I'm saying yes. It's like, why are you getting so mad about it? <laughs> Do you want to see it? You want to feel them? Like what the fuck? He was getting crazy. It was like chill I'm the fuck Pam, out, dude. Ma'am. No, I'm that that's pissed. that's out of line. Like, out of no line. No one should have been. At, she's like, I didn't really know how to handle it, so I would just answer. Like, nat- I mean, like, like the I, I I mean, the next question is like, do you do you get like I, I don't know, like do you get fillers in your lips and your pants? Like, what's the next question? You're at vaginal rejuvenation, <laughs> right? Okay, <laughs> we got a caller. <laughs> Fucking Larry King. Creep. <laughs> he was crazy. Yeah, you're right. He then did- he asked about Tom later. They added a clip of he asking about Tommy Lee. <laughs> and she's like, We co parent. We love each other. He's like, Then why aren't you together? <laughs> I'm like, Gee. It's like, He's had a bunch he's of divorces. Fifth marriage yeah, it's like, Why aren't you with Connie Chung? Or whatever these- <laughs> no, it's Mari Povich. Why aren't you with all um, these women? Yeah, it's. I can't think of who it is. But yeah, you're it's right. Like, There's Jesus. a bunch. He had a bunch. It's like, Shut the fuck up. In fact, there was. Um, I'm sure in her mind she wanted to go back, like, she, like, like go at them, but it's like trying to be, you know, like. <laughs> a while ago, I was with some friends, and they're older, and we were at this uh, deli in Beverly Hills, and then these other ladies that were even a little older than that came in, and they were like, "Oh, we're just waiting to see Larry King, hoping he's single again." And I was Ugh. like, "Oh my god, little tortoise, and they were gorgeous, little tortoise, and his." But I want to say they were. Maybe in their seventies, like, and they still look hot. I was they like, must Ew. love love them some LK. They're just sitting there at the deli, still waiting. I'm like, oh, that's he's dead, be right? Me. He's dead. Larry, I think he is. I don't know. I don't. I this thought was, it was a while ago. So I think he's he may dead. have passed. I think he's dead. But that's not nice. Just to assume he's dead. I'll did, look. Did it you up. find it sad that there was oh. a few entries in Pam's journal where she was talking about like how she wanted to act, like, like that's why we should write a movie. Where she like she kept talking about it. becomes like, this badass girl who goes around uh, to schools and teaches girls. <laughs> what, what do you think? Pre K? What is do you think? Is it comedy? <laughs> no, no, oh, okay. this is a serious the drama. This is her Meryl Streep moment. Did you? I liked when they introduced Baywatch, like as a show on on the documentary where yeah. they, they had Hasselhoff. I don't, he must have been doing it. Was it for the show or Ed was it publicity? Hasselhoff, Hasselhoff said. <laughs> What's his name? David. David. <laughs> Ed Hasselhoff. That's his uncle. <laughs> Hasselhoff like, looks into the camera. He's like, it's a weekly series about the brave men and women called lifeguards. Was lifeguards right. a foreign concept? Where people were like, hey, I don't know what, I don't get it. 
We didn't know lifeguards save lives. We what? did not know that. David, what? David, what is this you this speak guy. of? <laughs> He's so smart. When they showed clips of him acting, it was great. So, yeah, I He's do like, remember CJ, this. hey. Can I explain why I got some poisoning this day that I got it? It's because you were hooking up with Hasselhoff. Aside from that, there was Pam was going, she had one line. <laughs> she had one line. It must have been a bad day, Pammy. I'm on your side. But it was a bad day. And she kept walking by and she had to say one line and they did 58 takes. In her defense, she probably ran three miles uh, well, for slow motion scenes that day. She couldn't get it right. And so you're I just, you're, you're just was, bubbling your skin. You're like, and please. And I'm boiling in the background. Like, you could probably see my skin. And you're like, please, Pam, I Pam. need this. Get me out of here. And I remember thinking, this fucking bitch. And I... I don't know if it was the light, because again, they're outside. I don't yeah. know. It, it could be a million factors, but I didn't think of that when I'm 21, thinking you fucking bitch, I'm boiling here. <laughs> you know, I I was so angry. Sorry, Pam. We're good friends now. Pam uh, for Baywatch, she canceled her audition 11 times. Yes, which made I the, like the, that. Made the of casting. They want her more. Yeah, they're like, oh, this lady's great. We gotta fucking get her Hollywood. in Hollywood. I didn't realize they showed it. Baywatch was dubbed in Mandarin. They had some Chinese Everywhere. guy. Everywhere. It was gigantic. Well, that's why Hasselhoff's huge in Germany to this day. Huge. Nazis love him. He's their... Uh, Nazis like big tits. Is that Big their... tits and <laughs> lifeguarding is one of their big things. Hasselhoff's, Hasselhoff's <laughs> the leader of the big boobs. It uh, cuts back into real time. She's on a boat or with some dude. And she's like, uh, she she wanted to like fix up the property that she lives on with her parents. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Contractor yeah. came in. She's like, oh, he's cute. Uh, so they just get married real quick. That's normal. <laughs> I don't think that's not. I think that is normal. If you're on a fucking island in the middle, of, but that's what the, she does in general. Canada, it's where she does everywhere. True, but she hadn't been around people for a while. COVID. So you just get married out of nowhere. Like, look at that guy. But she don't just <laughs> want to date people. him for a while. She likes to get married. She likes to save herself from marriage, so she has to do yeah. it immediately. <laughs> she said, uh, "He's normal. Maybe I should try that. I don't know." And I, right when she said that, and she, like, I was like, "This is doomed." <laughs> Because she, she sounded so like uncertain about it and not that into it. She was like, a, I don't know. Maybe this is what I try to do. Who knows? Was that, the other night I was on in the main room and there was a kid from Vancouver Island. And I was like, oh, I, I go, do you know Pamela? You know, and he goes, I've seen her. And I'm like, oh, so you're like a peeping Tom or was your dad the construction worker that she married? And he, <laughs> that guy didn't speak so excited. and seemed stone faced. The dude, the construction guy. Yeah. He was like. Just seemed like, like yeah. I was like, this guy muted to so, marry Pamela Anderson, guys. It's like, riding a boat keep with it quiet. Her. And one, not going to last long on this bowl. <laughs> uh, they had a so good, many. good j- diary entry. I woke up at Mario Van Peebles, went home, got changed, and then I went to Scott Bale. She's like, what? Why would I write that? And I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> at least she's honest with herself and even on paper. That's a big deal. Love Pamela. Love Pamela. I'm a hoe. The a producer hoe. was like, let's get into who you dated. And you could tell she was not okay. enthused. Scott Bale, check. check. He, he was a playboy. Mario uh, Van Peebles, check. Dean Kane, she Dean wasn't Kane. happy to bring up. Ooh. Eric Nees from The Real World. Yes. His father, longtime NBA referee. Yes. J- Jack Nees. Uh, French model guy. Yeah, he was hot. And then met Kelly Slater on Baywatch, Poor who became a Kelly real boyfriend. Kelly Slater. Why? She said she was pounding everybody. Yeah, he was and she was, but also they kept she, getting back together. She, yes, and they were kind of in their back together stage when she. Uh, oh yeah, that wasn't good. Went to Cancun. She saw his pic. <laughs> this is where you come she's in? She's like, oh, he's so <laughs> handsome, about Kelly Slater. He is really handsome, but uh, I love that they're still good friends, and she's still like. Maybe they'll get like back. Not a mean person. She said, uh, "I love being in love and being vulnerable. It's the only way to live life." Aww. Happy, it's really not, but happy it's Valentine's awesome. Day, God Pam. Bless you. Say it with an M. By the <laughs> way, twice today somebody called me and said Valentine's. And you're like, Killer Sally, is that you? <laughs> uh, Philadelphia. Did you? What did you think about this part? Stallone offered her a condo and a Porsche. Said you could be my. Hey, you can be my. Uh, I got a my, little jealous. My number one girl, you know. But she, she got pissed and said, does that mean there's a number two? <laughs> but she had just said like a minute before have... that Kelly Slater is a guy you couldn't hold down and you you can't own somebody. I'm like, wait, what? That's the hold complete contradiction. But And that's the thing. She must have got offers 
beyond all. Winter book, she said Tim Allen showed her his hog. Because I have allegedly. offers. And that, <laughs> I have no offers. Allegedly. Why is no one giving me I offers? have some, and they are so few that I, I can't imagine what she gets. That if I'm getting one, she must get a million. She had Stallone, who was the hot, one of the hottest action stars of that time period, getting to the condo and the Porsche. I'm a little jealous. Do you sign I, a contract? How do you know I he's going to come through with that? I would have taken all of it, Sylvester. I'll still do it if you need. Look at this, huh? <laughs> Nothing. No, right. His, uh, the vanity plates say Rocky. <laughs> That's a condition. And the condo says Rocky in huge letters across it. <laughs> Is somebody I was I think it was Tripoli I was talking to and I said uh, yeah huh and I said Rocky uh did a documentary and he goes really and I go I mean Stallone I called him Rocky uh, <laughs> come on bro he's got a real name <laughs> got a on. piece of meat so Philly Eleanor so Philly he got so mad at me <laughs> uh so she was at some club I think that she said she owned or co-owned or something her own part of. Celebrities do that yes, even to this day yes, where they, they just so they can into, get in. I forgot the name of it, but yeah. So she was sitting there and uh Goldschlager shot. I was like, what are you, eighteen yes, years but old? That was hot at the time. Who's drinking Goldschlager? People were drinking it just to see if they could shit out the gold. I once to mine it. <laughs> I'm serious. I once drank <laughs> in high school, a buddy of mine got a bottle of Goldschlager, we're driving around. And we t- we took a shot in it the back. It wasn't ba- great. We're in the back. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah. Taste it. You could like feel the burn. You're like, I can feel this killing my insides. I took a shot of it. It tasted so bad. I immediately puked it into my hand. Oh my god, I hate that. And, but then I looked at my hand and I had like a Michael Jackson sparkle glove on my <laughs> one hand because of the gold chips. <laughs> but but I didn't even say anything about it. I was like, oh yeah, that was great. But I didn't take any more. <laughs> it's like I'm done with that. I have been, uh, uh, Daiquiri did that once of the stupid throw up in the hand, like oh, it's gonna. But be- it's just the liquid though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, oh, good thing. Ugh, it's gross. So Tommy saw that he must have smelled that schlag. He ran like he ran like, over. Let me get over there. And the he facelift immediately licked her face like an animal. I mean, if I you guess- know who does that is uh no wait who was it? Somebody was at the store. Licks a face at the comedy I'll store, licking them. faces. I forget it was somebody who was on Ew. Hinge. Oh, Andy oh, Dick. Yes, it was. Andy Dick. It was. That sounds about right. Andy Dick was licking faces and biting people. I remember <laughs> the biting. I remember the biting because he, uh, one of my waitresses, <laughs> oh, he was trying so hard to Jesus. take home. What a what a move! Is that like a Tommy well, Lee Andy Dick thing only? Well, I guess you got to be real fucked up. Let me lick your face. But also, if you see Pamela Anderson out at a nightclub, so you know she's looking like that. She's looking good. Uh, she's looking good. And you just walk over and you got the balls, a.k.a. the schlong. Yeah, he's got to... that. He had the original BDE, <laughs> yeah. Big Dick Energy. Tommy Lee invented it. BDE. Guy was drumming with his wang. For sure, that's his third stick. It's his, that's it's, that's his first day. <laughs> <laughs> He's got hands, and they're like, "Wow, how's he getting that beat? Because this is hitting the fucking yeah." He base. Hits, hits the yeah the bottom drum. With yeah, it. and then he's got his feet going. He so. uh, Tommy Lee seems like a funny guy. Say what you want about him, because he called right after they met. He was calling her, leaving her voicemail after voicemail. Yeah, saying uh, my baloney has a first name. <laughs> it's L A R G E, and she was dying laughing like that was a unreal bit. Oh my God. She's like, "Wow, it's so funny." <laughs> I was like. Bad taste. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't. I would laugh. Look at, her bite her, look at the nip bite in that picture. I would bite mayhem. You should definitely get, if, if somebody, you meet somebody and they have a tattoo across their stomach. It says mayhem in huge letters. You should definitely procreate. <laughs> oh, that's the reenactment. That's Sebastian and, uh, oh, shit. It looks like uh, she was terrific. It looks by like the Jason way. Tebow. <laughs> what a, what is ja- her name? Seba- uh, that girl, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. No, no, no. Um, the actors that did Pam and Tommy. Lily James. Lily James. I'm gonna she be was playing excellent. Tommy Lee. Yeah, it's and, and that's the recreation of it. So that that would be such a different movie. Yeah, yeah? Sebastian is Tommy Lee. <laughs> this guy. What the sex tape? What I... the. With the tattoos? Barbed wire? I don't put bumper <laughs> stickers on a Ferrari. 
<laughs> He's doing bits. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that his bit? I think so. Uh, <laughs> Pam tells Tommy, he's like, let's hang out. She's like, I can't. I got to go to Cancun for a photo shoot. What? Without me? Yeah, this weirdo. As he's sitting in a sink? Why'd they show that picture? Yeah, instantly. He's like, without me, I'll see you there. I'm going to find you. And I was like, red flag, stalker <laughs> behavior. No, I would say, oh, this guy has money. That's what you, you would be into it. <laughs> oh, my God. He likes me so Oh, and Pam was worried about him, like causing problems, and told security, like, "Hey, if a guy with tattoos shows up, by the way, he's the only guy in the world with tattoos. You know, you guys got thrown out that week." By the way, they're like, "Get the was, fuck out of here!" He was pretty big. You can't say, "Hey, if Tommy, Tommy yeah. Lee shows hey, up, if the drummer of Motley Crue shows up, do there. you think she didn't know he was that big?" She seemed kind of in the dark about a lot of things, to be honest. <laughs> she has an ignorance, is, ignorance time. is bliss kind of attitude about life. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, FYI. It can be. Uh, uh, so then Tommy keeps on like hitting her up, hitting her up, and she's like, "Well, what could go wrong? I'm leaving tomorrow. Let's go hang last out." Words. So she goes, hangs out with him at the Boom Boom Room, where a lot of uh, <laughs> long-lasting couples hang out at. In boom Cancun. Boom Room is where you usually meet your husband. I yeah, and first honest. night, like, Tom, or first night hanging out, Tommy Lee, classy move, ecstasy in the champagne, boom. That's that's how you know it's it's love at first sight. Yeah. That first night, he's, uh, he's, she, he says, want to get married? She's like, yeah, I do. You know, that to me is two hopeless romantics together. Needy. In Mexico. And needy. Bad decision. Wow. That's, yeah, we just, just have different views. They just Jeffrey. need love. Yeah. But they're desperate. Love, love is love. He took his friend's shitty it. rock and roll skull ring off and put it on her finger. You think that's a, that's good? You you support this? Well, we got this silly symbolic thing where you have to put a ring on it, and he Beyonce her. He put a ring on she, it. Meanwhile, she's dating Kelly Slater at the time. Right. That that's, was that's, I said. That's poor to, Kelly that's to Slater. To give a phone call to be like, by the way, I'm married. Because he's going to go he meet goes, his parents. Yeah, he goes, what? <laughs> my mom's so excited to meet you. He's like, by my the way, my dad's a fan of Baywatch. He's like, my other five girlfriends are. <laughs> I'll I'll pick one out over there, but you can you imagine? He's like, oh, all right. Like he's like, ah, oh, shit. I guess I gotta call. Yeah, Susie. Yeah, like, my number two, number three. My you're number up. Four. Like there's a bolt. Yeah, you're up. <laughs> Get the bench. You're off the bench. You're next. That's what Salome. Come meet does. my parents. He keeps him in condos and goes to whatever one he wants to. Look how handsome he was. Look at Kelly, Kelly Slater. Slater. Very handsome. He still surfs. Uh, he's still, still good. Still okay. wins. Yeah. So they got married after four days in Cancun. And uh, who's the wedding party? People hanging out at a, at a club with them. <laughs> they just showed up in this outfit. They had a wet, <laughs> she's in a bikini. He's in board shorts. But this is my question. She was with people. Yeah, they're gone. They just said, oh, Pam's fucking Tommy. Yeah, we're they're out. like, we're out. Yeah, that guy's got a huge wang. <laughs> how do they know? I don't. How could you not? You don't think that's the guy who whips it out? Yeah. Whoa, whips it out? With Whoa. That? Hey. Well, you. You hit it there? What are we going to do with that? What, what are we going to do about <laughs> this? <laughs> this lady, when she married him, thought his name may have been Tommy Lee Jones, <laughs> which is crazy. That was, <laughs> that is crazy. By the way, she didn't say that until like they were- And he goes, what? No, it's just Tommy <laughs> Lee. This lady thought she was married Tommy Lee Jones? He goes, that's somebody else. He goes, what are you watching, The Fugitive? I don't know what you're- <laughs> He's like, I'm not that big, man. I'm man not. did a Peter Pan <laughs> off that bridge. I thought there was something else. Like, just Lee has to. I thought it would help me in acting. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> what the fuck, God man? God bless her. Your dad's not Bruce Lee? <laughs> Are you really despite? Are you really despite Spike, son, <laughs> really <to> Spike Lee? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck, he man? Just stays on all the Lees. Wait, is his real name Bass? Bass, no, yeah. Bass. Bass, Tommy Lee Bass. Well, I, didn't it, know that. I saw their documentary too. The Motley Crew was great. The, and he's just like. And they had a show too, right? Yeah, Dirty. What the fuck was it called? Machine Gun Kelly, wasn't he? Tom Tombo Lee. Yeah, but what was it called? The Dirty. Dirty Love and Fucking. Wow, oh, it was good. Dirty Fucking on the Strip. It's on Netflix still. What um He was getting a blow jump during the meeting. Pam says that this in quotes was one of the wildest, most beautiful love affairs ever. All time. My also my favorite all time, all time high. Yeah. But they get on the plane and she's like, Oh, do you like eggs? <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah, said she knew nothing about the guy. 
Which is crazy. That's a crazy way to go to a, a marriage. So they're driving home. Where do you want to live? Oh, the dirt. I'm sorry. I'm like the dirty. I'm so bad. It's called the dirt, and that is a good one on uh, Netflix. But yeah, <laughs> which whose house are we living in? Just nothing. They have nothing. They have planned. nothing. Zero plans. Nope. I'm sure no prenup on either of them. Either part. Zero plans. It sounded uh, like he had more money. She was bad with money. She was bad with money, but she was, I mean, they were both so high profiled. Like, I mean, he was just a rock star. And of course, he's going to have the more money because. Seems, I don't know, but that she didn't mention it a lot. She said ecstasy was the was like she had never done it. Thank God. Seemed like he was doing a ton of partying. I don't know what that entailed. Yeah. And she is, uh, which is a good thing, probably can party and not get addicted. Yes. Or did at that time, I think. She's pretty young. Yeah, like she could because when she said I had to rewind it because I thought she said he put ecstasy in my champagne. She's like, and my eyes were so big, it was so cool. My eyes were getting bigger. What are you fourteen? She's in a cartoon trying to watch her eyes grow. Big fake tits. But she said we, so it it was a conscious. It wasn't like Ari was there. No, no, I don't think she was dope. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Let me put this in your allegedly. Uh, Allegedly, uh, Pam, you're uh, you're now on ecstasy, so let's get married. I married Ari Shafir. I knew him for three days. He's got the biggest balls. Nose. Oh. <laughs> what was with Pam and Tommy always doing the porno kissing? Like on on the video, like the paparazzi, with the photos and the videos? That's a home video. When you do a home video, oh, they're like, being silly. And no, but they were like constantly kids. doing yes. that. Like he loves licking things. Yes. He, get, he moved from the East Coast. And he was constantly getting his tongue stuck to poles in the winter. <laughs> You think that's why Christmas he left. story was based on Tommy, Tommy Lee as a kid. <laughs> you think his tongue's as long as his? I think he's licking his own hogger. <laughs> uh, they he get... probably could. He could at least kiss it. Weirdly, they get pregnant like right away, which is right. Uh, that's she... not weird. Why is that weird? It just seems like he didn't. When you go forward, didn't wasn't loving the idea of kids. Like, why rush? That. They I were, they were both pretty impression. young. Like, why rush? It, it, That's what I say. They got a lot going on. I get that part, but I didn't get that. I think he obviously loved Raw Dog in it, I would I say. I think he just, they were so in love, and I think both of them they were, in were l- so in love. They were in lust. In lust love. But uh, in lust is when you get pregnant. She had a miscarriage. This was uh, during Barb Wire. So she was doing a lot of filming. I just may have been doing too much. Who knows? Yeah, well, did you see the outfit? She's wearing latex. Poor yeah, thing. she should have been using that before she got pregnant. Paparazzi uh, was real creepy after that, really stalking you know them. Paparazzi are terrible. I fucking hate them too. You can put them on the list with pedophiles and rapists to me because that's how far Jeez. they go. I'm sorry. Whoa. That one when they're yelling at her, uh, like, "Where's your kid? Where's your kid? Who the fuck? Who cares? Where's your life yeah. that you're following a celebrity around? You sick fuck." Tommy Lee, uh, af- after the miscarriage, was he kicked in a paparazzi's windshield. Good for you, Tommy. How great was it when he just threw? And my one- boyfriend Alec Baldwin beats them up. How a good lot. was it when he threw one of those guys? Tommy Lee just fucking took one of those paparazzi and just hurled the guy onto the pavement. He was like a small dude. He was barely looking. I was like, yeah, I liked it. It was a good move. Good, good. Get him. Kill him. Uh, they were watching. She the- goes, I'll fucking kill you. She's watching. Uh, Old home videos of yeah. her and Tommy. Uh, she's pregnant again, and she's in the diary. I'm going to be the best mother ever. I love it. <laughs> but she believed it. She yes, did I? But think. I don't know if she is. Yeah, yeah ever is a big being a paparazzi. Ever now. is a big goal. Ever of all time. But in, in the her, history of mothers, in her heart. Mary of Nazareth, one of the best mothers of all time. Was she? <laughs> I don't know. They were homeless. <laughs> she got pregnant without getting <laughs> having sex. That's one of the best mothers of all time. That's uh, crafty. Uh, they, she did a home birth in their bedroom, which surprised me. No, that's Those are so good. Those are risky. Really? A lot can go wrong. You don't have a doctor there. You have like a doula. A doula, but you also uh, the midwives. That's but they're the not. But say so, there's an emergency, you have to rush to the hospital. Yeah, midwife. I I watch Call the Midwife with my mom, and it's a big deal, and they do it all the time. Do you ever watch it? I on love Netflix? that show. I mean, it's so I've seen good. All of it. And and I cry with my mom because it's so it's all it's the best. It's obviously doable when people do it, but it can be dangerous. And they have emergencies, and then they have a, always have a doctor, or obviously they have they know what to do for emergencies. So there's that's Brando 
And then it goes into the safe that they had in the house, gets stolen. I cannot... I cannot believe they, they stole the cons- whole safe. Now, having- did you watch the Pam and Tommy movie no, or TV show? Rather? No, I I did, and that is fucking bizarro. And that guy is a sick fuck. And I do hope- they know who did it? Because this that she was saying they don't, but I couldn't tell if she just didn't want to give him attention. But who wrote the mo- who wrote the show then? Because Pam and know. Tommy were against it. Yeah, they well, Pam. Her son calls her. He's like, hey, "You're not gonna like this. This is a show. I saw three episodes." She's like, "What? It's out." And then Tommy, they show him on the red carpet. They go, Tommy, how do you feel about the show? And he's like, you know, I'm stoked. That's cool. <laughs> she was pissed. She was having like PTSD. And he was like, whatever. It's from- because it's it's the same old shit. It only affected her. What helps his image. It didn't like, hurt him at all. Probably helped him. In 100%. terms of like he's a crazy rock star. Yeah. Know? Oh, it's going to be fine. You know? No, it's not. And I wish they kept, what's his name? Um, the lawyer they got. When they finally were fighting this. Yeah, but she dropped it. Yeah, it's the Aaron Brockovich guy. Yeah. And I can't think of anybody but Albert Finney. Bob that's who Brockovich, <laughs> I forget yeah. his name. No. Pam said about the sex tape, Tommy Lee honking the boat horn with his wiener. She's like, it's just us being goofballs. <laughs> like, well, it's a real, it's a weird. <laughs> okay, let me, let me see this. Let me ask you this. Did you see the tape? I've never seen it. I have. I'm a classy person. I I'm respect not. it to their privacy. Pam, not. if you're watching, I wouldn't do that to you. Pam. Or, or Tom. I I love you, and I watched it because I wanted to see you wanted to, what I'm doing wrong. You wanted to relate to your old co-star. <laughs> but I don't remember I remember why. it being out, and my, that buddy of mine who loved her, I think, was trying to get his hands on it. Because it was at first, it was hard to get. I don't get. remember if somebody just had... I have six brothers, you have to understand. So this tape's floating around. You had six copies. <laughs> Like, which one do you want? <laughs> Men are pigs. Any sheep. Any, never, even if they're never, related to you. Never saw. Even was, this one who's was lying. It, I did it. Was it good? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I Didn't remember, they splice a bunch of shit together? That's what she yes, said. Yes, that's what I remember. I remember it cutting a lot, and I do remember the horn thing. And they were on a boat. Like, I remember when I watched it, I thought, this is gross. What's the point? And of- not because <laughs> of the sex. Because this, this was uncleanly- two people being in love. You don't. You don't watch a porn and go, oh, these guys are in love. No, she's fucking the pizza guy, you know? like. What's the point of filming that, though? I'm not saying it's not their fault, of course. I'm not saying that. that the sec- But, like, why film You've it? never been with anybody that filmed. I would never film myself. I don't want to see that. It's horrific. In high school, my boyfriend filmed me. Gee, where's that at? <laughs> I destroyed it. I destroyed it. I've ne- No, I've never, never we thought to film. We made a ton of home videos. I mean, we were... I was a senior in high school. Were you trying to get on? even out of high school at this point. Were you trying we, to get on America's Funniest videos? I Bob Saget? His mother had a so video camera. It was a, a hand cranked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was, look at the birdie. Which one? You Sit know here what for, I mean? Stand here topless for an hour while this, this thing. But <laughs> this is how sick. It was a Catholic school uniform. And we were doing like what they You're do on a boat. The You're no, on a boat. We were in a row home, a different different. Did kind you ever watch it or you just destroyed it? I don't remember watching it. I remember watching like me like taking my school uniform off like to that point and then I didn't watch it. He said he stopped filming. But he put it up. Do you have a tripod? No, it was like on the TV like stacked on the TV. Okay. And then we had Where was it? Done the nasty if you're in high school, on a couch. Where were his family? Was... His mom was a, a single mom working. Just it's like aggressive mom. We, to be we like We never had anybody home. Not only are we going to have sex like we could if do someone it could come house. in but let's hook up a video camera. He, he only had a brother and a sister. I had Yeah, you had 18. Yeah, and people we, had to be out of the house. We didn't have a lock on the door. So when he you had, had a people, lock. It's, right. Chances are four people are going to come in. So we but uh, he made this tape and then years later he we moved to LA and he brought it with him and me and my friend chris found it and we destroyed it <laughs> we never watched it we found it we destroyed it and he was pissed yeah i've never uh, but god forbid if that got out maybe there. who knows maybe i could be famous maybe 2023 <laughs> is my year i make a sex tape i can't believe you know, but maybe because was this you're the younger. first was this the first se- like celebrity sex tape that got out i think so not that they released it but this started that trend like without this Kim Kardashian's mom never well, pa- would have pa- pushed her to make a sex tape and become who they are. My other favorite, Paris Hilton, she she was upset with hers too. Yeah, you know who did she it? She did not like that. The yeah. guy Pamela married twice. I used to deliver groceries to that guy and I could tell he was a huge scumbag. That's the druggie, the yeah, poker player. Pro poker player. He also had a huge wango. 
Pam has a type. Pam has a she type. She married him because she said, maybe I need to be with well, a she friend. she has to feel something, so it has to get all the way in there. She said, maybe I need to be with a friend and married him. Then she's like, well, it turned out he was a drunk addict. That's the vetting you do for someone <laughs> to be around your kids? You don't know? The guy was smoking crack. She's doing the crack pipe in their Christmas tree. Oh, Merry- that, that's the 12th day of Christmas. Merry we Christmas, found our- guys. Brandon, is this your <laughs> ornament? On the 12th day of Christmas. My true love came to me. The guy denies. A crack pipe in a Christmas tree. The guy denies no? it was his. It's an ornament. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's who you put around your kids? That's why I'm saying. You want to be the best but, mother ever? Okay. That's not best mother ever material. But once they act, Tommy acted a fool. With the kids, yeah. and she walked away. You know how hard that is for women. You know how many women stay well, Tommy, in that situation. Tommy, front even though I'm her. not saying Tommy, I understand the to- I understand that the predicament, and I understand he went and he did his time, and he, you know, probably got himself better. Whatever he claims, like, he didn't hit her. It doesn't. It, like he, but he said shaking her is wrong as well. And that is but a I big think thing. He, she had a br- like fucked up. Yeah, hand. but if you grab, if you're grabbing, I don't, I don't think he and he's her. drunk, and you're grabbing, I get it. But she walked away. That never, that doesn't always happen. No, I, agree. I, I can't say never, but it doesn't happen a lot. More often, we would stay in that situation. We'd be like, it's for the kids, and then we're like, wait, this can't be good for the kids. That was the second kid. You're jumping ahead because they do the, the sex tapes like the middle. I'm of sorry, this whole you're right. Thing. I apologize. Penthouse right. offers. I'm a, I'm a jumper. Penthouse owner offers Bob Guccione five Bob. million dollars cash for the rights to the sure tape, off. and she says, "Fuck you, give us the tape back." They thought they were naive and thought if they got the tape back, like no one could, like they don't think anyone ever made copies. Like, like oh, if we get oh, it back, yeah. it's over. And it's like, yeah, it's over. <laughs> uh, Tom, uh, they have the court case where they she's pregnant again. And they give her the, they like really grill her. And they're ba- she said, they basically said, if you're in Playboy, you have no right to privacy, which is sickening. That's fucked up. A whole nother thing. And her coming in and them having pictures of her. Who, By the way, who were they representing? The sex tape. No, I don't know why. Uh, no, maybe I think the guy. Did they find out that guy who was releasing? I don't know who they were actually. So, so did they? I mean, they obviously went after the. They're like the state of California. <laughs> we're defending the right to put this out. No, I don't know who they were. That's, that's a good what I'm question. Saying. It's like weird. It's like because it, it, they're fighting to get this off the internet. Maybe maybe because it was new and they didn't. No, that no. The internet came fight? later. Came. Later. This is just about the tape being leaked. Being leaked and so sold. They obviously knew it was out there because Guccione got involved yeah. and tried to buy them. Whatever. But it's just like who's she fighting? That's so sad. And they're asking her about her sex life, which obviously is irrelevant. <laughs> um, you can see it. She said oh. the sex tape felt like a rape, and sadly, she that's knows PTSD. The, yeah, knows yeah. the feeling because it's, it's like you huge, don't want that out there. It's a huge invasion of privacy. Obviously, yeah, it's like what the fuck. Like, I didn't... Because if you were a normal person and watched the tape, you would see that they are like in love. So it's not fun to watch. You're not like you were, this isn't like you were yelling boring. Yeah, boring. Where <laughs> honk the, the horn pizza with your guy? Di- honk the horn with your dick again. <laughs> I mean, this is sweet and and. I don't know. One of their kids could have been conceived on that. Dilly. Boat. Dilly, yeah. she says. Dilly will. She asked, uh, why do these grown men hate me so much? The lawyers. And I have a feeling they were shunned in high school by women who they saw as of this. Of course. So they was, can't fuck her, so they're hurting yeah, her. They're like, fuck you. That's always the case. She dropped the case. Thought She was worried that uh could lead to miscarriage of her second kid. She's like, this wasn't worth it. Mm-hmm. Um, Brandon Lee. Br- bragging is like I think it was the first viral video. <laughs> was he like, wasn't bragging. He was bragging. He was pissed because he said she should have taken the money. He was pissed off about that. Well, the money and also, um, like at that point, it's out of your hands. So, yeah, take the money. Yeah, five million. I mean, million. what are you gonna like, <laughs> Jeff? Yeah, five million. I would take it. I mean, I would take four hundred. But you know what I mean? Like, it's just. Five million is five million, and she could have got some kind of fuck it. It's out there. What am I going to do? She was. It's my he husband. Was I love him. He was bragging. He of course. He's seen it, loves it, watches it every night before bed. You it's said they're gross. so in love. He wants to see his parents. In I love. know, but I don't think his son <laughs> watches it because if his son likes porn, he's not going to like that. <sighs> but also, like Tommy, in I'm going back because I'm thinking of the series now. 
the guy, they said Tommy was mean to this construction worker. Yeah, that's what the kid said when he called his mommy. Oh, right, but it, it, that in, yeah. it, that's how they played it in the series. That's, yeah. and, that's, and I was like, oh, okay, but that still doesn't. No, it doesn't warrant stealing. You're like, I'm going to fucking ruin these people's lives. Yeah. Like that person, if they're whoever they are and they're still out, they, it's gross. Because I think that person wrote this script. Part of me was like. Is, Anonymously. Is there a way like, Tommy could have leaked it without telling Pam? No, but I don't think he was did. Missing. Everything was missing. But what, there say, was more than say just. He was like, whoa, the whole safe's gone, bro. What happened? But there, people that live like that in big houses, they could not notice. Well, they were also having construction, and so they weren't really there a lot. Right. They that's said, true. They're like, it could have been. She's on set. She's worked. So that's locked up. You got. He had guns in there. It was like behind a carpeted wall. So it was, yeah. like, it was hidden anyway. So it was like you wouldn't. You may not know. But the workers would. Yes. Sad. She said Sad. that Pam says the sex tape solidified a cartoonish image of her and made her a caricature. Oh, no, no, no. She did that when she got the boobs done. I agree. And I, <laughs> that's why I was like, no, I was thinking like, eh, it's easy to blame the sex tape, but you kind it's, of. You were already, yeah. The way you came into the business, like via Playboy, like right. not traditional. Because you know how many actresses would have loved to be just put on a roll immediately yeah. instead of just being at a game in a Labatt right. shirt right, looking right, hot? Right, right, like right, he right, right. studied acting, went to college, you know, all right. this stuff. And so it's uh, imagine Meryl Streep in Playboy, and then I wish doing that, Sophie's Choice. I wish she would be in it now, <laughs> man. Meryl, there's still time, man. Somebody but get it. Her, it's over though. That Playboy. that Dylan looks just like Tommy. I mean, she must look at him like think he's got. Ugh. Think he's got the. the well, I'm not. You know what? He's, Jeff, in, he's in his twenties. Children. He's in his twenties. Not a child. Still, I look at them like. It's her kid. They go over some Tommy Lee red flags, which uh, there's <laughs> quite a bit. You make a I'll fucking American flag with I'll all the dare red. You. Uh, he Chinese. Came, this guy went to, yeah, <laughs> Russia. China. Oh, yeah, Russia and China. He came to uh, Baywatch set every day, especially on days where he knew she'd be uh, kissing another actor or, or like close to. I'm going to blame him for my son poisoning because he was probably... They said he would stand behind the fucking camera like directly in her eye line. Also, That's creepy. If he's in her dressing room fucking with her, she's not going to know what the fuck she's doing. Yeah, she's she's going to be frazzled. all confused because she's a caretaker too. So she's like taking care of him, making sure he's good, not worrying about herself and the work she has to do. So she kissed on the show the actor David Chokichi. <laughs> Used to work out at the gym. Great I, man. I was the front desk man at a gym. He okay. worked out there. I want to say he's from the Boston area. We would bond over that. Okay. Uh, super nice guy. She made out with him on the show. Tommy Lee freaks the fuck out, destroys her trailer, p- punched a hole in the wall or something. So I'm going to say Tommy has some tendencies. Yeah, a little aggressive. Flags are flying. Stalkerish, mm-hmm. jealous. China and Russia are borrowing she said the red flag. She didn't tell him about the scene, and that he's like, "You lied to me." How does he not? If he's looking and at it's her, her side, it's her job. It's her job. It's not fucking. It's not the tape you guys made. It's just kissing. Come on, Tommy, loosen up. <laughs> it's no real love. Yeah, so he freaked the fuck out. And by the way, so they're this. They have their new kid, Dylan. They have the other ones, like not much older, like two, three years older. And she says, this was crazy. She goes, Tommy was going through postpartum, I think. Not a thing for men, by the way. You don't know that. It's not a thing. What are you talking about? I have two kids. But I'm saying this, like men go through stuff like he was going through, meaning they become third on the list. They become last on the list. Yeah, welcome to having kids. Don't have yeah, kids. but that it's, it's he's saying postpartum, but that's not what he meant. Like, it, I mean, that's not the real term for it. But men go through shit too. Yeah, of course, not and easy. No, it's not easy. Having kids is, a, is and he's self- a narcissist. You have to be selfless, a, right? But he's already a you narcissist. You have to allow yourself to be. It's not forever. It's just for like when they're young. But he and in her standing up to him, saying, "You know, you need to help me." Blah blah. So blah. he has a he has a temper tantrum. I, I'm sure substances were. Whoa, Rob's pulling oh, up. Uh, yes, postpartum yes, depression in men is very is real. real. I believe it is real. I don't buy. It. I do. Is, you believe in Israel? I believe in Israel. Too. I believe in Israel, and I believe it is real. <laughs> uh, so Tommy Lee throwing a tantrum. I have a feeling he may have been fucked up. He's like, "I want my wife back," <laughs> and she said, "Maybe but if I, I had get some." Get it because it's it, it's his life is changing, and he doesn't. That's why know I how said to deal with it. I said, "Why rush into the kids?" Is why I said that. Right, why not wait? Why, they weren't old. They weren't. It wasn't why a rush. rush into the marriage? It, their exactly. whole life is uh, uh, no, but that like 
mayhem. So it didn't sound like he was ready. He obviously wasn't ready for the kids. If this is his attitude, does he look ready for anything? No, instead of having a huge dick and waking up whenever he wakes up. Yeah, he's got a giant organ hanging on the outside of his body. So uh, he's gonna be normal. Pamcake said to him for the first time ever, stood up for himself. So maybe if I had some fucking help, you need to grow up. It's not all about you. (laughs) Woo! He uh, he kicked, he charged her and kicked her while she was holding a six week old baby. Not good. Yeah. Not a good look. Not good. For Tombo. Uh, so she yeah, that this is the part where she just walked. She's like, I'm done. Left. God bless her. And he got uh, that's not easy. What are you doing, Jay? How many days is it, Jay? Like ninety uh, days, something like that? I thought it was a couple months. Yeah, so he went in. Six but that, months. They must have loved that like big six, old maybe. hog in the showers. <laughs> like, oh shit. Look at white boy. <laughs> Here comes Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> look at mayhem. Woo. Uh, he yeah. So he said, and he he did an interview with I don't know who it was. It looked like a Diane Sawyer type. Ish, yeah. Ish. He was like, so uh, Tommy comes third now instead of first. I don't know how to deal with that. Argument stemmed from me wanting some love. But that's poor Tommy. I, I get it because oh, Tommy just needs some love. They were in lust, and even like being out that night, and uh, that that's why they dropped the lawsuit because she was pregnant again, and she was she worried, was worried she was yeah. going to have a miscarriage. Yeah. So she was like. But that's when you should have said, "Give me the five million. I'm not suing. Yeah. You know, uh, whatever." Well, she didn't know that it was going to get out anyway. It was the problem. M- maybe at that moment, yeah, yeah. She right. just thought it was yeah. going to be done. Then it not only got out and sold, and then it hit the internet, and they were like, "Fuck, it's everywhere!" Like, and it's and, it's not and going especially away. when it's brand new. The internet. yeah, the internet Ugh. is early like days. Like now, I look for stuff like, "Did I did I get filmed last?" You're night You're like, "Did my stage? boyfriend put put me on a <laughs> put me on you porn?" From from the eighties. Yeah, I want to see if I was any good. What'd you think of that Bob Seeger private jet footage? She's watching with her kids, and I think somebody's kid says "ho ho ho," and Pam says "there's only one ho in here." The son Brandon dying like that was a real zinger. He loved it. It was a zinger. He's like, "Oh, mom." It's self-deprecation. It's funny. But she also though doesn't want to be like it's weird she like doesn't want to be known as that but makes the jokes as that because she thinks of herself as a hopeless romantic so she doesn't see herself truly as a hoe but people call her a hoe because she rushes into marriage she's with a she's on her fifth marriage she's whatever but it it, to me it seems that doesn't make you a hoe pam i don't think she really but it's like you're happy she like doesn't want that image but like she's like fighting against i don't know it's weird she's fighting against dumb society that puts women in a box and says you're a whore if you get married but a guy larry king has 80 wives and that's fine and he's hot and he's hot did we find out if larry king's alive or dead i forget if um, he's, he's a zombie because he's still getting married in hell so larry, larry no, king's dead yeah well how long ago was it long the king is dead is that terrible yeah i just can't remember um that's terrible if you go to his gravesite, ton of suspenders people <laughs> january 23rd 2021 20, oh, okay, man. so it was pretty recent. Yeah, yeah. I love you, Larry. Um, those old ladies were trying to get in before he got out. They want to get uh, in those pants. Take those suspenders, suspenders off. Suspenders. Pam said a uh, beautiful quote, love's the greatest healer. I choose love. She does. And she could be bitter. And a lot of people do choose bitter. And they just get into that sick mindset. But that, I also think she has that ignorance is bliss. Like, I don't think she thinks too much about any of but this. But there's a... There's something to ignorance is bliss. No, I agree. Like, she just doesn't overthink. She's like, fuck it. I'm going to yeah. get married again after two days. We'll see what happens. Yeah. This guy's cute. I like uh, his jeans. What do you think? I thought this could have been cut, in my opinion, for time. The random, like, Pam and Peta section. Well, I love that you called it random, but it is her life. It is, but it just didn't. so much. But it didn't really fit into the other stuff, in my opinion. But it's Pam. It's her life. It is, but, like, everything else about, like, her like love life or family life, and then it's just like... Oh, yeah, and she favorite, loves animals. My favorite was she was like, I did the roast because I thought, well, I'm going to be out there anyway. I might as well do it. And then she's off but she the gave roast. But she gave a lot of money to PETA. She said, I'll do no, it. Absolutely. Yeah. She's like, it was, you know, it was a trade off. And then she goes, it was a trade off. And then she's at the podium doing her stuff. And all you see is her tits. And I don't mean because they're big. I mean, literally the top is see through. She said so about, you see the nips, and she's like, and Jimmy Kimmel. She said about the roast, she said it was so raunchy, not my kind of humor, but I'm like, you you're just naked. said- no, Your tits are out. But not only that, like you're doing the ho-ho, like, you, you do, you're like, come on, man, like, you I can't have it both saying, ways. Yeah, 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 you got you're it. You're trying to have it both ways. It's like, you guys are making raunchy jokes about me, how dare you? It's not my style. Yeah, you, you if you're going to sign up for that, especially her, I remember that roast, and like, I, I think it was Kimmel that opened up, it's so nice of you to get fucked on He stage. said, uh, it's good for you to be here to get fucked on film one last time right 
And, and she's like, oh, my God, it's raunchy. <laughs> Hold on, let me whip my tits out. No, they were, it was completely see-through. She's like, it's okay. They said the, and I'm like, oh, my God, no one is looking at you. No one is hearing what you're saying. All the guys are just like. <laughs> just, I'm not into <laughs> girls. And I was like, her nipples, her nipples are out. Did you like when Letterman, they showed a clip if he's like, uh, your kids, uh, seen uh, the, any of these pictures or videos? Like, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. That's a ballsy question. She goes, what? No. no. She was appalled. Like, That's a ballsy question that? to ask someone. We skipped over the, she, or did we not skip over? She married the great uh, Kid Rock. Bob gave Ritchie. Each other, is that where no, they both gave each other hep C? Uh, her, her kids were not impressed. They were watching home video. And they're like, this is when we moved to Detroit. And they were like, Pfft. They were like real. Like, <laughs> but she said Bob was good to the kids. And I believe that. But Bob's in the video, in the video, the kid Dylan, he's like, Kid hey, Rock's a good guy. He reaches the handout says, let me help you into the dirty Detroit water. And the kid's like, I can do it. You could tell didn't <laughs> like him. And he, that kid Dylan said, I only ever saw my dad as my, which makes sense. It is. Uh, which... And she's like, these are just guys who are coming in and out of my life. Again, not a good not a mother great time. bringing dudes in and out, rotating door. Was she supposed to stop her life? And your parents. The marriages don't did, last long because she's worried about the kids. You have to take that into consideration when you have kids. It's not like, hey, let me bring in fucking crack pipe Rick Solomon. I know, but like my mom never remarried, never really dated. And and I, she I was think doing it on sad. the sly. She was going out. No, late at I night. wish she did. I mean, we would have helped her up. We would have helped her out. <laughs> Brandon was fighting kids if they brought up his mom in school. He was, he was taking those martial arts lessons to, to try to be the crow. They were trying to make him into the <laughs> That's crow. That's what it is. Call back. He was doing karate and shit. They were like, trying to get your shit together. She was constantly videoing. The kid Dylan just did like a thing and sat down and she's like, <laughs> Dilly. Deal it from the side, like let the guy do his fucking karate clash. Shut the hell up. It's distracting enough. Every father <laughs> must have been like, I'm gonna go pick up the kids tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like I heard Pam Anderson's uh picking up her kids. Do you imagine that? Every dad is at the school, yeah. parent, teacher Their dad, meeting. Dad like, there whose kids weren't even taking God. class. <laughs> Your kid graduated, didn't he? Your yeah, kid's I'm 30 years old. What's happening. <laughs> just I might take class. <laughs> She's like, oh, uh, oh yeah, and then her I mean, it ends with her being on Chicago. Yeah. So cool. Brandon was saying. So jealous. She was in debt, like, most of her career. And she said all she wants is her credit cards to work. Like She By the seems way, like she's real bad with how money. How much did you relate to that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, uh, is my credit card? I'm bad with money. I Are know. you worse than her? Well, if probably if I made as much as she did at one point, I probably would have burned through it. Yeah, I'm bad. Did you? What do you think of her vows with your friend Bob Ritchie, Kid Rock? <laughs> I thought you meant literal. Reading uh, them off a cell phone, for one. <laughs> and she says... What if she was like... I have the quote. What's your name again? <laughs> Kid, I'm going to be Pam Rock. Uh, she says... Is it, is it Rockwell? She's like, you'll be my loving cowboy. I will ride forever oh, from this day forward. Yes, That's yes. not raunchy? That's not raunchy at a wedding? A little raunchy. You can't have it both ways, a Pammy. Little. Can't have it both ways. What do you think of Smokey Robinson, what he said to her when he saw her? I People agree with Smokey. I'm the life <laughs> uh, he said, baby, you're romantic. Keep on trying. I love it. He said, don't get, uh, don't get discouraged. Because he's, then he's like, right. by the way, he let's makes fuck. a living on love songs. Look at my eyes, he's like, baby. Go listen to my songs. She married. Uh, no, she voice. was with some French when soccer Smokey star. Sings. Oh yeah, that piece of shit. I didn't even know that he broke her hands or he no, he didn't did. break it, but he hurt her hand or whatever. But still, she's like, he's very strong. The read, the over, uh, whatever, the voiceover. <laughs> he's very strong. She said she's attracted <laughs> to very hetero masculine men. That's true. But she would tell them, I can leave if I want, at the choice. And then she said, sometimes that leads to you getting thrown into walls and your clothes stripped off. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? What? She's not wrong. She's <laughs> not wrong. Jesus. Well, maybe not go I dated, the, so I can't imagine that she, I make bad choices too. So I know exactly what she's saying. Uh, her mom said, your dad's an asshole, but I love him. And then she's like, you don't love these assholes. You gotta stop being with them. <laughs> Because she's right, because she only really loved Tommy, and then she's just been in search for it. What do you think of the bombshell moment when she told Weirdo Brandon? Like, Stop she, calling her son a weirdo. I like him, and he's fighting for his mother, and that means she's a good mother. She left filming, started crying, came back, and was like, I, I was just thinking, I think the only man I've ever loved is your father. 
And then she's like, let's go for a walk. And they're like holding each other like a couple. It's not a mother's son. Yes, it is. Not a couple thing. It's just because they're that close. It's too close. You don't know people that are that close. I do. It's too close. That's really, I like it. Okay, I guess. (laughs) You're a weirdo. I'm not a weirdo. But uh, apparently isn't Tommy Lee's lady having some trouble with this documentary? Brittany. uh, Brittany Furlan. Furlan. Why are you making me say it right? Furlan or Furline? Furline? Furlan. Feline. I forget. I'm sorry, but Brittany. she's apparently. I'm so sorry, and she's so funny. She's apparently upset. She she was upset about the doc, and she was upset about. That's why I say the show affected Tommy a little bit because it just brought up a lot of bad memories. But with the doc, Brittany said online again. This is all online. I haven't spoken to her in years. We used to do stand up together, and she's very fu- very funny. But she got internet famous. On, yes. I forget which. She's like an influencer. Yeah, absolutely. And she's hilarious. And I remember when she first started dating Tommy and she would try to put him in the videos and he would just be like, ugh, like like not wanting to be in it. But then she got him and they were cute. He's like videos of haunted Yeah, because, (laughs) and and it could be that, it could be whatever, just living your life online. Yeah. Where they're not used to that. And he's older now too. Right. Fuck this. So, but he, he was cute in a lot of the videos, but a lot of people gave her a lot of hate. You know, like he's a bad guy. He's this, and I'm like, you don't know that. I and mean, he's a right to, regardless of his past mistakes, to to live, to his, live life. his life. Yeah, to, to go to, forward to get happy. He's over his postpartum depression. But it seems like Pam's always throwing it back out there. Like, hey, like Pam might have been emailing him. Uh, those according go, to these online, those got things. leaked. Like, who leaked that? I would say if if Britney saw it, Britney's gonna put it, it out. Seems like if that would you. be the only person who would. <laughs> I like Britney too, so I can't. I know her obviously you have to take way a, better you have to than take a side. Yeah, you have to but be team she, Pam or team Britney. Well, would Tommy get I think back they with Pam? Should both move on. They're too toxic for each but other. But do you Tommy think he would Pam get with a fifty-something-year-old woman? It seems like he likes younger. That doesn't matter. You Pam think he'd looks go back. No, Pam looks right. great. That doesn't matter. She still has that thing. I think they could eventually end up back, and it, w- it wouldn't be good. I'm saying no. I'm saying no way. I'm always wrong, but I'm, now you're She married Rick Solomon twice. <laughs> she doesn't have kids with that guy. She said, I I feel like I can only be with Tommy because he's the father of my kids, but, but I can't be with defense, Tommy. he gave her a crack pipe and a tree, so that's a yeah. big, that's a nice She's, He's like, that's thing. Santa's, it's not mine. <laughs> uh, she's, <laughs> the, you, Santa like these, that. She does do, sh- I give her a lot of credit. She did Broadway. Chicago. Busted her ass. Do you know how hard that is? And didn't look bad. I was n- nervous for she, her because she is so likable. Just because I was like, I don't know if she has the skill set. Oh, you, uh, me too. You mean for Broadway? Yes. Singing, yes. of course. And the dance. Uh, like, and the guy's like, this no, is the an dancing, advanced schedule, honey. Yeah. Even if you're trained. The gay guy was great. He's like, let me tell you something. But then she was doing the one move and he goes, oh, you got this. It, it was the workaround. He's like, oh, you. Oh, and she's like, I've been doing the workaround. He's like, oh, honey. Uh, but she worked her ass off and did pretty well. And I think that was on what made me feel good because when she would say, I want to be an actor. Exactly. And I was like, this is like a redemption. It was the big redemption at the and end. And then we write that but movie for her. But she still felt lost, it seemed like. She's like, I don't know what's next. Right. Because like, she's, she's just like, and I feel restless. from herself. Yes. So she feels restless because she's not really... She needs. I don't know if she's done therapy, but she seems like a prime candidate. There's a lot of these issues, and a lot of people don't do therapy because they're like, "I'm working it out myself." But she, she was, was in the bathtub listening, listening to a fuck, to listening to a yeah. fucking podcast. It's like, like people who are addicted to love, and she's trying to stop <laughs> it. And I'm like, that's not going to help you. Yeah, you need to. You need really to delve into it and work on yourself because then you won't feel as restless. She said. Uh, she said, "We'll end with this." Take quote. it from a person who's never been to therapy. You need it. She said, my 100%. life isn't a, a woe is me story. I'm not a victim. I put myself in crazy situations and I survive them. And then she kind of. She is a survivor. She for, had some for, sort of quote is like pain leads to great art. Um, something to that effect. She is a survivor. That's faux She's show. a survivor. I would. Uh, would you recommend it? I would recommend Absolutely. it. Absolutely. A little. Yeah. A touch long. I thought. A touch long. But that's because but you I thought, don't like pita. You don't like animals. Obviously. Yeah. I like pita bread. But I could do without the pita. <laughs> <animals>. an asshole. <laughs> But I would recommend it. Check it out. A lot of buzz about it. It's really good. Now I can't wait to cover this shoulder because it's kind of cold. And then let's uh, let's go to this clip of uh, yeah. Let's see what this clip is. This clip of a possible documentary subject. You know what would be a cool documentary? I was thinking about watching this is the history of cosmetic surgery. <laughs> oh, 
Yes. Like, who was the first woman who got fake tits? Who like, was the what f- was the reaction to or it? And how bad did they look? First woman that was like, okay, I need tits, but also. Who was the doctor who was like, this? who was the yeah, doctor who was like, around. you know what? We, I could make some tits way bigger. There, there are so many fucking tricks on TikTok that it's frightening. You're on TikTok way too much for your age. I got to get out of it. <laughs> I got a problem. <laughs> it's my be... new porn. <laughs> All right, here. So we have a guy. Now this already looks exciting. Is a guy who looks like a Viking. He's barefoot in the snow. He's carrying two huge axes. His feet, his legs are thick too. He's in which boxers. I like. Yeah, this guy's jacked, pasty white, and he's uh looks to be on top of like a mountain. I'm not big on the big upper body and the thin leg man. Okay, here we go. Let's see what he's got. It's out of scream, and he he does a full. Oh, this is a cold plunge. Cold plunge? He's jumped like 300 feet down a fucking ravine into a tiny pool, spread eagle like a flying squirrel with axes. What was the Game of Thrones axes for? He could have killed himself. Imagine if you land on an axe. Well, where does the video go? Is he dead? We don't know. <laughs> I want to know who is he? How often does what he do he this? Doing? How does this help him? Does it hurt How, him? Does, it was the axe to break the water in case it was frozen? That wasn't a big break body of water. water. And he... Water. Wow, well, sorry. Was the axe just to break the water? <laughs> he did like a dive. He that was like a but belly flop extension. Down, he was like, whoosh, like he was gonna come in and chop the water if it was a frozen. He might have. He might be a time ice. traveler. He might be from the days of Vikings. Might be like Leif. <laughs> that Erickson. was a portal. That wasn't a, a that body was, of water. That, was, that <laughs> I'm dive just is keep saying water to get Rob. That excited. dive is frightening. I love it. <laughs> What do you think the height was on that? That was decent. It was pretty high. I, as a teenager, I would jump off high things and in just, the water. Do you think he left his clothes at the top? Does he have to climb no, back the, up when he gets out? A bunch of high schoolers stole his clothes at the bottom as a prank. <laughs> Does he get there the- There he is. <laughs> do you get the axe? Look at this old man <laughs> falling to a pool. <laughs> He's trying to do a cartwheel? I think he is. I think he is. <laughs> He's like 80 He's years like, old. He's like, I got it, and he misses completely. All the, usually it's slippery on the side. That's messed up. Wh- who filmed that, by the way? Because the camera was at the top. Is it to hike back to the top to get his camera? Yeah, that's... It's oh, also moving, though. It's moving, yeah, so it's not just a tripod. It's a drone? Dude, that's a crazy full yeah, extension and then, belly flop. Oh, wow. Look do you at get the splash on that. I give the, him a 10. Do you get the axes back or is that body of water just covered in old axes <laughs> of guys who've done Those this? axes look fake to me, by the way. Oh, you that think is, like Halloween? No product? way. Hey, look, look, look at it. Oh, good song. <laughs> Great song, by the way. Let's see. Watch when he like flexes and they kind of shake. Those don't look real. But he looks like he's shaking his hands. He's, yeah. His yeah. whole body's shaking. It's yeah, too, but it's minus thirty. Yeah, but look, look at like that looks like they're. Is he plastic. trying to like rival Rogan with? Yeah, you getting a fucking ice bath, pussy? I Watch think this. I think that is the nature of this. But yeah, he's adding some elements. Yeah, he's like a try this, Joseph. An Eighty foot dive into a, a sin. into a fucking puddle. What's that guy, Wim Hof? Yeah, he does the ice bath. <laughs> ice man. What if uh, the, the ice baths are great, but. This guy's going a what different if he, way. What if this is like his just pre-work routine? Like he gets up, out of bed. He doesn't drink coffee. No. This is how he wakes himself up. But he goes to work at like a like a Seven Eleven. Is <laughs> this him? No. That's the guy. No, I Let's made see. that up. Oh shit! The other night at the comedy store, there was a guy in the audience who looked like that guy, mm-hmm. and he told me he had a tattoo on his ass of a Care Bear. I brought him up on stage. I he, saw that he whole sh- exchange. He showed it. Me and the Booker of the comedy store watched oh, that entire exchange. So that's why I'm not I'm in the original <laughs> room tonight. <laughs> watched the entire exchange. Oddly that enough, Care Bear was completely. Oddly enough, a guy, in, a guy in the original room showed me a tattoo on his ass as well. I had sets in both rooms. What's the chances of that? Oh, my God. That same night it's, was, oh, wow. The guy's like, you want to see something cool? And then it said something cool on his ass. It's like, the stupidest tattoo I've ever seen in It my literally life. just said the words something, something cool. cool. Oh, God. It's like, nice bit. Yep, I like that. <laughs> I, I have a tattoo that says keep on trucking. <laughs> and it's really small. It's tiny. It's the tiniest font. It rivals a I friend of yours. Like, rivals a friend of yours. Tiny tire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go dive off a glacier I'm into a tiny. I gotta wake up, so I'm getting in a glacier myself. I'll lend you my axes. Thank you. I need the axes. That's gotta help. I'm the All axes right. of evil tour. All right. I think we're gonna get out of here. Woo!
Who knows what we'll watch next? Who knows? Where will we go? What will we Where dress Where will as? we go? We can go anywhere. Anywhere. Look at my bun, my Pam bun. <laughs> Goodbye, Pam. We love you. Bye, Pam. Love you, Pamela. <laughs>